Hey everybody, welcome. This is uh, episode number three, if we want to call it an episode or not, whatever, with these YouTube videos. Uh, again, hopefully uh, everybody wants to watch these, or some of you do anyway, to try to get some more information out uh, about SFL this year. Um, I'm going to try to do one every day. I didn't get a chance to do one yesterday. Yesterday was a work day for me. Um, today, unfortunately, I'm stuck at home. As you can see, most people probably have lovely fish pictures up. I got Olaf up there. Uh, I'm stuck at home today uh, with my three girls. We're on day number strike, strike number two day uh, this week for us. And then I think there's a PD day coming up and probably more strike days. So I could be at home quite a bit and missing lots of work, unfortunately, with this strike. But not much you can do. Uh, anyway, at least if I'm home uh, away from work on a strike day means I can try to get some serious work done. So if uh, this gets edited five, six times, it's probably because uh, some little girls run down the stairs on me and interrupt it. But anyway, I'll do my best to get through it all. Uh, anyway, like I said, I want to do this video today uh, to explain some stuff, some big things are happening locally for us in the industry. Um, but uh, like I said, I'll get that get to that in a minute. Um, yesterday, like I said, I worked, but still I got home. Um, uh, me and my wife had uh, quite a bit of work to try to catch up on. We had some invoices to send, some e-transfers. I've got a big web app update to do today. The daily ins and out of the series, like I said, that's things I'm going to try to bring. Uh, to show everybody that this is uh, there's a lot that goes into this even uh, in our cold winter months and like I said if you're interested in hearing that stuff give us a comment uh, let us know that you you know you're interested in that uh, if not I'll try to cut that stuff out and uh, just do updates about tournaments and so forth and all that kind of stuff uh, anyway like I said today I'm with the girls hopefully I can uh, make it in town to do um, uh, some more series work at the bank and uh, other things like that um, as I mentioned, there's obviously, most people know by now, uh, Parks Canada has decided to throw a little fee on top of uh, tournament fishing. I shouldn't say tournament fishing, it's all events from what I'm understanding. Uh, before, when we used the Heritage site, we had the typical $210 fee. That was normal. Uh, we paid it and moved on, and no complaints. It's a special site, and they charge what they charge. This year, they've decided, just out of the blue... Um, they're gonna hit us with an administration fee that could be anywhere from uh, $50 to $200. That's just the administration fee. That is not uh, the $210 fee that they are now imposing on all organizations uh, to come be on the Rito system. That doesn't mean at a heritage site, that doesn't mean at a lock station. That means if you're running a tournament on a connected lake from Kingston to Ottawa, you're now being charged $210. Uh, I think there's some organizations that might get away with it, uh, charities, uh, stuff like that, something about non-for-profit, but you must have a non-for-profit number. Um, I'm technically registered SFL as a non-for-profit uh, through taxes and all that stuff because we don't make enough money um, to uh, to be a pro for profit. I mean, we, we barely make enough to get by every year. Some people probably say, oh yeah, come on, I know I know what you what you keep. I know the money you keep. And, and this is one part of uh, why I wanted to explain this video today, why this 300, uh, it's gonna be $335 to me uh, per tournament on Big Rito. I'm there eight times this year. I shouldn't say Big Rito, on the Rito system. Um, this year, so like Nubro and, and Westport and uh, Big Rito, Rito River, Kilmarnock, and we got a pause. All right, and I'm back. Interruption number one. That's dealt with and over. Uh, somebody wanted a cookie. Anyway, back to um, this Parks Canada thing. Yeah, it's going to be three hundred and thirty-five dollars to me every time I go uh, to a Rito uh, Canal System event, or whatever they want to call it. Um, and, and again, like I said, it, it's anglers that don't understand that this is a huge hit, uh, hit to me and to our organization. Um, because, like I said, it basically is a non-for-profit. When I run a tournament, it's two hundred and twenty dollars. This is the Shootout Fishing League Exxon Tour events. They're two hundred twenty bucks. How that gets broken down into payments, and and it's all posted online. People can think I make tons of money. I have a job. I, I don't need to make money. I try to make money for the series. I try to do make money. I try to be in the green every year so I can build this, the series bigger and better every year. It's not to fill my pockets. I, I've never once wanted to get rich off this sport. I, I just want to see it succeed every year. Interruption number two. Time out. All right, now I'm back. That was an interruption to make sure it was okay to have a cookie from one of the other two. 
Uh, so <laughs> anyway, I'm not great at editing, so I'm going to try to fix this as best I can. And anyway, we'll go from there. So again, 220 is what I charge. Uh, shootout, uh, fishing league, Exxon tour event. 13% of that right off the bat comes off for taxes because I still got to pay my taxes. 10% comes off for championship. 10% comes off for cost to run and $10 per boat comes back for big fish. So on a 50 boat event, after I've paid all that out, all those percentages are taken off, that leaves me 7,252 bucks. If you look at the payback schedule, I'm paying back $7,370. So I'm actually losing money running these events. Now that's where the membership cards come in and sponsorship dollars come in that help out, whatever. But from your dollars, I'm actually losing money. Now, like I said, I do have that 10% I keep for cost. But in that cost, I have expenses like insurance, which is a huge expense, but thanks to Paul Spinelli, he has got that down for me quite a bit this year. Um, so make sure you check out the cooperators in Smith Falls. Nice little sponsor plug there. But I'm, I'm serious, he dropped me at least $1,000 of what I was paying previously in insurance. So trust me, give him a call. Um, nothing, no cost to get in a quote. So check it out. Like I said, he's saving the series uh, at least $1,000 this year. So that's greatly appreciated. The series crew, my crew is not free. Uh, they show up, some of them show up, they don't fish, they're not out there, all they do is come to work. So they deserve a paycheck and they work hard and get it. All the supplies, ice, uh, pump breaks, I I've gotta go buy it. Um, you know, generators, they're not cheap. Also, uh, other fees, like sometimes we have site fees. As I said, the $210 that was normally Nubro, that is now $335 per tournament that we go there. So I don't I don't know where this money's supposed to come from. I made a little joke at our meeting um, that, uh, you know, oh, the entry fees are gonna go up five bucks for any Rito tournament. And it might that might be what it has, has to be because I can't lose money running this. Uh, again, I, I, I try to make a couple bucks off it, but usually, and you can ask my wife, um, anytime we make money off this, it goes right back into the series and we always try to make it bigger and better and that's the goal. On that note, there is one awesome thing I do want to talk about that's happened with this is it's brought the community together. Uh, uh, I've spoken with uh, OVSB. Um, I've spoken with uh, Limestone reached out to me. Uh, I've had multiple conversations with BAA. Uh, I'll gladly speak to Renegade, um, Eastern Ontario Bass, any of the organizations out there that want to try to work together to figure out how to kind of approach this because every other series I know is in the same boat. They're, they're a non-for-profit. They're doing this to, because they love the sport. They're not doing it to make a buck. Um, so, so we need to get together as a group, um, and, and talk and, and figure out what we're going to do. Uh, are we going to have to say, I guess we're not fishing Rito system events anymore. That would be a horror story for tournaments because there's probably, seven, eight lakes from Kingston to Ottawa that tournaments use uh, almost every weekend. Somebody's, somebody's on Dog Cranberry, somebody's on Kilmarnock, somebody's on Taylor Park, you know, Big Rito. It, it's, it's a busy system, it's a huge system, and they're, they're trying to basically either take that away from us or charge us so much that we can't afford to go there. Uh, and, that's, and that's what I'm looking at. So again, the positive, um, I'm talking with these other groups. I've never had an issue with anybody from these groups. We had a little comment um, that I heard that because Shootout Bassmasters is now here, we're coming to take out OVSB or uh, you know any other Bassmaster chapter. That is the least thing we're trying to do. I have always been a firm believer the better SFL does, the better OVSB does, the better Renegade does, the better BAA does, the better all these organizations organizations do, the better SFL does, the better we all do. It, there's nothing more important than showing unity and that the support is big and exciting and awesome because that's what the youth is going to see. If they see fun and exciting and everybody's having fun, they're going to say, hey, I want to try that. That sounds pretty cool. If they see us all bickering and fighting and, oh, you know, I hate that guy and I hate this series and they're bad people who would want to join that so uh, again this is i think this is a good thing that's happening for that aspect uh but of course obviously uh, financially i don't i don't get how they can just all of a sudden slap us with this with no warning either i i got my list sent in uh, months ago 
before uh, Halloween when I put my, my schedule out of, hey, we're going here. I had my approval sent in. I was approved on December 4th from Parks Canada to run my Nubro tournament on the, the, the historic site there. Um, and then here we are basically, once they take all their holidays away of Christmas and New Year's, they don't work very much in December. Uh, you throw that on there. So what is it, a, a month? All of a sudden in one month, they've decided, ah, uh, you're gonna pay, uh, well, let's just say 335 bucks. Where's that number coming from? Nobody has told us anything. They're just like, get ready, you're gonna pay. So anyway, in the comments and Facebook, on the YouTube page, whatever, <laughs> let's hear your thoughts on, on what you think we should do, uh, an approach, um, how to go about it. And obviously, you know, we've gotta do things proper. Uh, I don't wanna piss off parks so bad that they're like, hey, no, now they're gonna make it even more difficult for us because they, they can do that if they want to. Um, Anyway, other than that, I think I'm going to try to wrap this video up. Like I said, I've got to get the kids uh, dressed up, ready to go to town. We've got to hit the bank, uh, do some serious stuff. Hopefully, I can get you another video tomorrow. I'm visiting a couple of friends in Kingston, unfortunately, at the uh, Cancer Treatment Center. i got a couple of close friends dealing with some stuff there. Uh, farm sitting at my dad's also. So it's a busy, busy couple of days for me and then back to work the, the rest of this week. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, we hear some thoughts and comments on what you think. Uh, our approach should be some tips, suggestions, if there's any, uh, even if we have to go a legal route, even if uh, one of our followers uh, is, a, is a lawyer and wants to help us out with any possibilities of what we can do, uh, that might end up being the route at the end of the road, but hopefully we don't have to get there. So I uh, hope you all enjoy your day. I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe if you're enjoying this, and uh, we will see you next time.